The next annotation we're going to examine is JSON AnyGetter. This annotation is used to mark a method whose return value is a map. It then flattens the map into key value pairs. What this does is to bring the key values up to the same level as the root element, and then they are serialized as if they were actual properties of the bean. Only one JSON any getter is permitted per class, and it is essentially the reverse of the JSON any setter annotation. Right, let's jump in and do some coding. We're going to serialize the inventory class. This class has a method that returns a map of the cost of delivery in each country. So first off, we annotate the getter method that returns a map. I should mention that the JSON any getter annotation should not be confused with the JSON getter annotation. Then in the unit test, we create an inventory object on which we set a value for the root level field locations. Then we put some values for delivery costs and countries into the delivery cost map. And then we create a test that asserts that the keys of the map have become properties at the same level as a location property, i.e. the root level. Now let's run the test and see how the resulting JSON looks. Well, the test has passed and you can see the JSON output in the console window. And here is the predefined version of the JSON output. It clearly shows that the keys are now properties at the JSON root. I hope you found that interesting because we have another Jackson annotation coming right up next.